What's up, everybody? It is Ty Rivera, the absolute best LGBT comic in the world. And yes, I don't mind saying that. I am the absolute best LGBT comic in the world. And I'm doing this special uh, video blog, I guess you could call it, because I woke up today to news that the gays were losing it. Everybody wanted me to know uh, that the gays were losing it. Everybody wanted to know what I thought about the situation, what I thought about what's going on. If you guys don't know, the Supreme Court sided with the Colorado baker that didn't want to make the custom wedding cake for the gay wedding, which I've been telling gay people from the beginning, I don't know why they want to force these people to make their cake. Like, I don't get it. If you don't want to make my wedding cake, I don't want your gay hating hands in my wedding cake in the first place. A lot goes into that. The energy goes into that. And I want energy that actually wants to see my union do well. I want somebody that wishes me well. That's what I want when I'm getting, especially something like a wedding cake. Like to me, it's ridiculous that gay people are trying to force people to make their wedding cakes, especially if he says like, you know, he's got his reasons that he doesn't want to make the wedding cake. He says it's just against his personal religious beliefs, which I don't have a problem with that. I think that, you know, if say KKK or the Aryan Brotherhood were to come to like a gay cake baker and say, I want you to bake our cake for our event, I think it would be okay for the gay baker to say, no, I don't want to do that. I don't support that. So when I put the shoe on the other foot, then we have to afford the same rights to other people as well. Like people have to be able to say, hey, you know, this isn't for me. And I'm not saying that I hate you and I'm not saying that you can't do it. And I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I'm just saying that I don't want to be the person to make the cake for it. So, I mean, like I really do go with the motto and the thinking, go where you're celebrated and not just tolerated. And I think a lot of gay people really want to force people to accept what it is they're doing and it's like I'm not looking for your acceptance if you don't like what I am you can eventually come around or you can continue to live the way you're living and maybe you're fine with that too but I'm not trying to force anybody to do anything that they don't want to do if people don't want to make my wedding cake then they don't have to make my wedding cake and a lot of people would say well maybe you're not invested because you don't have a plan of getting married well actually I do have somebody that I want to marry and when we actually do plan to start preparing for our wedding, then I plan to go to places that are not only LGBT friendly, but I would like to go to places that are LGBTQ owned and operated. That way I'm giving money to my own community and I know they're going to wish me well because they're from the same community. They're of the same ilk. So why should I support somebody that doesn't support me? And I say good luck to you. If you feel like you can turn down money in this day, in this economy, if you feel like you can turn away an entire group of people because you don't agree with what they're doing or you stand on some sort of religious ground, I'm fine with you doing that. But good luck to you because I think that we as gays and LGBTQ in general should go ahead and find a way of sharing that, be it through social media or social media groups. If we're just like, hey, this particular restaurant, this particular bakery doesn't support us. And I know a lot of people are like, well, it's a slippery slope. It really doesn't have to be. It can just be these particular things like when it comes to the photographers I know some photographers don't want to shoot gay weddings and like if you've ever seen the way a photographer has to uh, the way they have to be involved in a wedding I can understand that thinking too it's like if you can't see the love in what I'm doing then how are you supposed to capture it in pictures for me so I wouldn't want an anti-gay photographer taking pictures of my wedding anyway. I wouldn't want to force them to do that. And yeah, they do have to, at that point, be a part of the event. So I think that it's okay for them to say, no, I don't want to be a part of this event. And I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. And like I've already stated, it's not like these people are coming from a particularly hateful place. It's just against their religious views. And I think the same way we as gays want people to accept what it is we are, we have to be accepting of what it is other people are as well. And that's where I stand on it. And I know some gay people are going to get mad at me, but I'm used to the gay community not accepting me and not accepting what I do. And maybe when we learn to accept uh, opposing views, not only from people outside of our community, but from people inside of our community and learn to be more inclusive and have the rainbow actually mean something and not just be bullshit and it's pretty to look at, then I'll support what it is 
everybody's talking about a little bit more. But right now, I don't even think this is about not supporting. And I don't think it's about being contrarian. And I don't think it's about just, uh, you know, taking the side of people that don't like us or whatever it is. Some people would say, for me, it really is a matter of the same way we want people to respect us and our views uh, and our values is the same way we have to respect the values and views of others. And that's where I'm at with it. I welcome your comments. I would like to hear what you think. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Sorry, everything's bare bones. I wasn't planning on doing a video blog, but uh, I will be doing more. So I'll get everything situated and I won't have this big bulky mic. But this provides better sound than my actual um photo booth which is what i'm using right now but everything will step up in the next couple of days thank you for watching everybody